Of all the different funnel builders, WordPress plugins, and page builders, only Systemi.io allows you to create your landing page, collect contact information, make payments, do upsells, downsells, and even deliver courses on their free plan. Now to help you save time with building out your own landing page, go ahead and click the link in the description to our landing page playbook and template bundle. And when you enter your email address, you'll receive a special link to create a free account with some bonuses, as well as all of our funnel templates for free. And this works even if you already have an account. If you do decide to upgrade, we of course receive a commission as a way to support this channel. Now, of course, you can always use the templates inside of Systemi. So whether you use our templates or the ones already inside, let's go ahead, dive into Systemi and build out your landing page. So of course, we'll start in funnels. And if you went ahead and used one of our free ones, it will show up inside of your account looking like this with this name, although sometimes we change it a bit. And, or you can go ahead and click on create, give your funnel a name, select your domain if you've set one up. We'll go ahead and select build audience. I'll go ahead and remove the currency. And then I'd go ahead and click on save. Now for time purposes here, I'm going to go ahead and use the free funnel bundle linked up in the description. So I'll just go ahead and duplicate it, give it a quick name so I know what the funnel is actually about. And then I can go ahead and come in here to edit the landing page. So we'll kick things off with a quick rundown of the features and where to find what you need in the page builder. And then we'll actually go through the process of building out the page. So to start on the left-hand side, we have elements, and these are all the different essentially blocks that you can click and drag over to your landing page design. And then we also have blocks. And what's really cool about blocks is these can save you a lot of time when it comes to design, because there are a lot of pre-done sections in here where you can just bring them into your landing page with one click. And finally, we have settings. So we can come over here to settings. This is where you can set up your typography, your default colors, and then all the way at the bottom here, SEO is not really important when it comes to creating your landing page. You do have the option to remove this powered by Systemi. And what's cool is if you forget to uncheck this for whatever reason, then you are automatically enrolled in their affiliate program. So unlike some other page builders out there that force you to use this and then don't give you a commission at all, at least on the free plan, you can go ahead and have full features and you can also be able to remove this. So now let's go ahead and go through the actual building of the page and we'll just start at the very top, the most important part, which is going to be your headline. And to save us time, I've gone ahead and done all the copywriting ahead of time using the landing page playbook linked up in the description. So I'll just go ahead and copy my headline and go ahead and paste it in here. Now, of course, I've pre-formatted this, but sometimes you'll paste things in and it'll look like this, right? And you go, oh, that's ugly. And the thing that you want to avoid is manually hitting enter because that's going to mess with your mobile responsiveness. If you go to mobile, now it looks even worse, right? You're like, oh no, I want it back there. And then you go back to desktop and it's like, oh, that's not what I want it to look like. And you wind up going back and forth. So a better thing is to use something called margin and padding. And so we'll go ahead and click on, we're clicking on the text element. I realize I should go over sections and rows in a moment. So we'll click on the text element here and we'll come down to margin. So you'll see here it's by default set at 50, but if I dropped it to let's say 500 on top, you'll see that now there's a bunch of space. So margin is telling Systemi, hey, this is how much space I want above or below this element. Whereas padding tells you the spacing inside of the element. So you can make it bigger or smaller this way, and it's not going to affect the other elements on the page to a certain extent, right? So we'll come in here to row. That obviously looks terrible. Uh, whoops, we'll come in here to text. Obviously that looks terrible. So let's go ahead and take that away. Um, and what you can do with your text is you can adjust the margin to the left or right. And so here's what we'll do. So you'll see this is what the headline looks like just dropped in, right? But I don't really like spend just sitting there by itself. It doesn't look all that great. So what I can do is I can come in here, I'll click on our margins, and then I'm just gonna add 50 and 50 to the left and right. And I'm forcing Systemi to push in all of the text so that I get a third line that says ad spend. Now, ideally I would want it to look like, I would want it to look like this, but I know from preparing this video for you, it, when I go to mobile, it doesn't look all that great. So I'll go ahead and let it look a little awkward on mobile. And then of course, if you want to change your colors, you just highlight, 
you can click here, change whatever your colors you want your colors to be. And of course they have pretty much all the fonts that you can think of. When it comes to fonts, two fonts for your landing page and that's it. So here's a list of recommended fonts we like using, something really sleek, clean, easy to read. And so that does it for grabbing attention with your headline. So next we have our build interest section, and this is going to be where we have a picture of whatever it is that we're offering and we'll have some bullet points. So we'll go ahead and start with the picture. So all you need to do is use the image element here. And so the way that this page is broken down is it's broken down by sections and then rows and then elements. So you can see here, I've gone ahead and clicked on our image element and you see our image is inside of a row that's inside of a section. And so this is kind of how you can organize the page. And of course you can click and drag things all around um, like you would with most modern page builders. So let's say we wanted a different image here. So I can click and I'll drag it right there and then I'll select the image. I'll click upload file, your images here. Let's just go ahead and choose a random one. Let's say this is gonna be our our lead magnet. And what's also really cool is you can come in here, you can also change the border radius. So if for whatever reason you wanted to round out the corners, you can go ahead and do that. Now it's probably not showing up too well, I realize that, but I just wanted to show you that that's something that you can do relatively quickly. I wouldn't wanna do that in this instance. But something else that's also cool here is you can add a blur effect. So you can go ahead and blur it out. So this is great if you have any sort of video-based a lead magnet, then you can go ahead and take a screenshot of it. And then you can just quickly blur it out a little bit to create some curiosity. Now, obviously this is like, I don't know what the heck that is. So you probably just wanna go maybe three or four. And this way people can kind of make out what it is, but we're just creating some curiosity around that. And of course you can also change the size. So you just click and drag the size that you want. So I'll go ahead and delete that since that's not going to be what we want to use. And then we have our bullet points. Now, unlike some other page builders, we can just click and drag our bullet point element in. And then the first thing you're probably gonna want to do is play with the icons. Now it's easy to go crazy with icons and they have a lot in here. So if you find one that makes sense for whatever your offer is, Awesome, so as an example, this is about Facebook ads, right? So putting in a basketball hoop probably isn't gonna make sense, but if I had a landing page about how to jump, jump higher or actually make free throws, which is, you know, should be a basic skill. It's kind of crazy how many pro players stick at that. Anyway, or a bat because this is about how to be Batman or something silly like that. You can tell I'm getting distracted. Um, you don't want people to be distracted, right? So it should really relate to whatever it is that you're, you're offering or maybe a, a tennis offer or something like that. And then for the color, I like having it the same color as the headline. And actually, ideally, you would want your bullet, your button to be a completely separate color. So I like having two fonts, two colors, and that's pretty much it. Keep it nice and simple. So I'll go ahead and delete that for now. And then I'll go ahead and jump over to our landing page playbook here. And I will just go ahead and copy. And then I'll go ahead and paste in our bullet points here. Realize I actually didn't delete that. There we go. Now it's gone. And so now what we can do here is I recommend go ahead and bold parts of your bullets and bold a result that you're promising or roadblock that you're break, break, ugh, breaking. So we can say eliminate wasteful clicks or we could say double leads with the same budget you have now. So I'll go ahead and just bold that. And then we can go ahead and copy them for yourself. You see, that wouldn't make a lot of sense because copy what, right? If someone just read the bullet, the bold part, it would make a whole lot of sense. So we could say peek behind the curtain at our highest performing campaign structures. So we'll go ahead and bold that. There's probably a better way to write this bullet so you could actually bold something that makes sense. And then we'll go ahead and say consistently craft high converting ads. All right, awesome. So that does it for the lead magnet and the bullet points. Finally, or second to third to last here, we have the desire section. And so I'll come back to the form inputs, but down here, ideally, this is going to be where you would put testimonials or trust seals. So you can come over here to blocks, testimonials, you have a couple blocks and I would recommend just take one of these and drop them in, call it good. Don't overthink the page design too much. Now for me, because I don't have testimonials for this particular offer, mostly because it's just a demo for this YouTube video, I'll go ahead, jump into my landing page playbook again, linked up in the description and drop in 
a sample self quote. So I'll go ahead and fix the formatting here. And again, the landing page playbook has a simple formula you can use to write this to build some empathy and rapport with people who are hitting your landing page. And of course, you'd go ahead and change out the image. And you do want to create the image in a circle. So Stemi's not doing that. So I just created this real quick in the free version of Canva. And then we are ready for our opt-in form. So ideally you just ask for the email, but I get it. People don't want to listen to me. They want more information for whatever reason. And so if you want to add additional form fields, all you need to do is come over to the left-hand side, click and drop in a extra form field here. You'll go ahead and say what type of information that you are collecting. And then you of course could change, let's say name here, dot, dot, dot. And then when it comes to your submit button, all you need to do is come over here and select the button icon. And if I can find it, I probably scrolled right past it. My gosh, there it is, it's right there. <laughs> okay, so you can drop that in. You have a lot of options that you can play with. And then ideally what you would do is you'd want to make this a standout color from the rest of the page so it's really clear that this is the button that they should click. So I'll just come down here and I'll change the background color to let's say orange or yellow. Let's do, let's do orange, right? And then that way it stands out a little more and it's clear this is the button that should be clicked. And then of course we could click save changes. Uh, one final note, don't forget your legal disclaimer stuff at the bottom. And of course, I'm not giving legal advice, but most places require some form of that. So you definitely want to check into that. And then with that, we can go and click to preview our landing page. So of course, letting us know it's a demo here. So we've got our headline, we've got our three bullet points, a picture of our lead magnet, Again, you can use uh, Canva or Fiverr for creating this. And then we have name, email, and of course they'll click, be able to click access now. And so for building out our landing page, we're all set. Now we just need to connect our opt-in form to some sort of automation or campaign. And so I'll go ahead and click to exit. And to do that under landing page or step configuration, you just come to automation rules, add a rule, and you can say funnel step subscribed and then we'll click on add action and you can either add a tag if you're setting up automations or if you're on the free plan you're just going to actually want to subscribe to a campaign because you can actually send automated emails on the free plan but i'll leave a link in the cards in the description to a super deep dive guide that goes through building out an entire funnel that includes how to do all the tags and campaign set apart when it comes to the email marketing but as far as your landing page is concerned now that it's connected to a campaign, it is all set and good to go. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. Most importantly, you're much more comfortable when it comes to building out your landing page using Systemi.io. So make sure you check out that link in the description to our landing page playbook and of course templates where you can copy this funnel directly into your own account. Even if you already have an account, even if you're on a free account, you can use this template for free. And of course, if you do decide to upgrade in the future, we receive a commission as a way to support this channel. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.